following details are furnished by MBA Limited of expenses incurred during the year ended 31st March 2010. Okay. Mm, yeah. Direct material 340. That is the first item in my direct cost. Opening stock of finished goods 1000 units. Units given now means you have to make the CPU column. This is type 2 sir. Right. Closing stock of finished goods. And see, they have put a question mark. Right. Obviously, they will put a question mark because generally closing stock of finished goods is the calculation that the student has to do. Okay. So it will never be given in the question. Okay, fine. Then um, depreciation on plant and machinery, fine. So, yeah, it's a factory over it. Loss and sale of machinery, this will not come in for sheet. It's a non cost item. Trade fair expenses, this is selling and distribution. Direct expenses, this is the third item in direct cost. Okay, general manager salary. This is office expenses. You can write A also admin expenses or O. Dividend paid. This will not come in for sheet because it's a non cost item. Okay, financial expense category. Direct wages. The second item in direct cost. Advertisement, selling and distribution. Depreciation on computer. Computer is a factory, sorry, office related asset. The depreciation, repairs, and maintenance on it will come in office. Drawing and designing department expenses, factory overheads. Purchase of machinery. It's a capital expenditure. So, non cost item will not come in the calculation of total cost of this or sheet. Depreciation on delivery one, selling and distribution. Office maintenance charges, office, factory rent, factory, sales is given, quantified, 19,000 units. So this also indicates that it's a type 2 sum where we will have to calculate units produced. Okay, units sold is given, units produced we have to calculate. Later on, next lecture onwards, I will take up some where uh, units produced will be given and units sold will not be given. So vice versa. You have to use the same formula, the same technique to calculate. Okay. Then closing stock of finished goods to be valued at COP. Okay. What is the COP? Means which method? COP means which method? Yeah, Shreyas. C4 method. Great. Good. So that's my C4 method. But we will do sums with both the methods. Okay. Yeah, Samuda. Good. So let us start with working note. That is always the first part. Yeah. So working note number one, calculation of units produced. Units sold, 19,000 is given in the question. Plus closing stock of finished goods, 2,000 given in the question. Less opening stock of finished goods, 1000 given in the question is equal to units produced. Okay. Calculate. I just, you can even do it orally. Yeah. 19 plus 2, 21. 21 minus 1, 20. It is 20,000. Okay. So 20,000 units produced. Yeah, oh, great. So, how many items we are not taking in cost sheet? One, two, three. So, for that, you'll have to give a note in exam. I said it yesterday also. Yeah, if you write the note, you don't get extra marks. But if you don't write it, we definitely deduct the marks. Okay, so write this note number two loss on sale of machine. Yeah, loss on sale of machine, dividend paid, machinery purchased, and non cost items excluded from cost sheet. Loss on sale of machine, dividend paid, and machinery purchased are non cost items 
excluded from cost sheet. Out of which loss on sale of machine is a financial loss. Dividend paid is a financial expense. Machinery purchase is a, is a capital expenditure. I hope you all, uh, you all are able to relate it with the theory part which I had discussed. Okay, the last year, uh, note number five. Okay. Let us come to our cost sheet. Cost sheet of NBA Limited for the year ended 31st March 2010. Rupees two columns, inner column and the outer column, and the cost per unit column. Okay, units produced, we just got 20,000. So right there working with number one and units sold 19,000, which is given in the question. Okay, start with direct cost. In that first direct material. Opening stock of raw material is not given. Okay, now, oh uh, yeah. Now students listen, eh? see the formula, opening stock of raw material, add purchase of raw material, less closing stock of raw material. If you look into the question, if you look into the question, you only have direct material given, 3,40,000, correct? Opening stock, closing stock, carriage in work is not there, okay? So in such cases, in such cases, when they give you only direct material as the heading, it means, Purchase of raw material. Okay. Yeah. Or you can even assume it to be raw material consumed. I mean, then all this is not required. You can directly write in the outer column 3 lakh 40. Need not show the breakup. So that 3 lakh 40 is raw material consumed. So raw material consumed is shown in the outer column. Or you can assume it to be purchase of raw material. That is what I have assumed. Okay, clear. So opening stock is not there. So that 3 lakh 40, which is given in the question, I'm assuming it to be purchase of raw material, obviously. Less closing stock not given. So how do you call them? 3 lakh 40. Clear. Next, direct wages 2 lakh 60. And direct expenses 1 lakh 60. Total it, I will get my prime cost. 3 lakh 40 plus 2 lakh 60 plus 1 lakh 60. So that makes it to 7 lakh 60 thousand. Okay. That's my prime cost. Inner column total in the outer column and outer column the total. Then indirect cost. it down to your net factory cost. Indirect cost may first is factory overheads. In that we have three items. Depreciation on plant and machinery, 96,000. Drawing and designing expenses, 54,000. And factory rent one lakh fifty thousand. Okay, so ninety six thousand plus fifty four thousand plus one lakh fifty thousand, three lakhs. Okay, that is my gross factory overheads. Less sale of factory scrap. I always keep saying, even if it is not given in the question, you have to show the step. Outer column, 3 lakhs. Okay, clear. Then what? Outer column, total with the previous column. I mean with the previous total. So 3 lakh plus 7 lakh 16. Okay, my prime cost. It is 10 lakh 60. 
that is like 10 lakh 60 gross factory cost 10 lakh 60 okay next add opening stock of wip less closing stock of wip not given still show it in this step Then my gross factory cost is also 10 lakh 60. Okay. Then admin overheads. There are three items under admin overheads general manager salary, 3 lakh 80,000. Depreciation on computer one lakh seventy two thousand and office maintenance one lakh eighty eight thousand. Okay, and we know inner column total in the outer column. Okay, Aradhya, you want the calculation of factory overheads? Okay, wait. Is this okay, Aradhya? Just total your office over it. 3 lakh 80 plus 1 lakh 72 plus 1 lakh 88. 7 lakh 40. 7 lakh 40. Take it in the out you call it. 7 lakh 40. Okay, then we know next outer column total with the previous total okay so 7 lakh 40 plus 10 lakh 60 18 lakhs so the answer is 18 lakhs okay then opening stock of finished goods 85 to 50 it's given in the question. And now, closing stock of finished goods. Back to which method? P4 they have said. Okay, fine. So yeah, let us go and calculate our CPU columns by using the shortcut technique. Okay. So I hope you'll remember. Yeah. So what is the shortcut? Till COP, I will divide with units produced, 20,000. So my denominator is going to be common, 20,000 throughout, correct? So one divided by 20,000 equal to sign, multiplication sign, two times. Yeah, yeah. So one divided by 20,000 into into, correct? Yeah. First answer I want is, Closing stock of raw material. Sorry, direct material, 3 lakh 40. So type 3 lakh 40 and press equal to 40. So my answer is 17. Okay, next type 2 lakh 60, press equal to. So my answer is 13. 2 lakh 60 and press equal to. Next press 1 lakh 60. Matlab type and then press equal to. Like 60, press equal to. So the answer is 8. Next, type 7 lakh 60, press equal to. So 7 lakh 60, press equal to. So the answer is 38. Am I clear? Are you able to relate what we did last lecture? Yeah? Keep continuing. Next. 3 lakhs. 
five three lakhs plus equal to fifteen. Okay. Then type ten lakh sixty plus equal to it is fifty three. It's fifty three. Okay. Same fifty three. Next type seven lakh forty plus equal to thirty seven. Type eighteen lakhs plus equal to my answer is ninety. So stop till here. Clear everyone? Is it clear? Acknowledge it in the chat box. Okay, Tanisha, Aditi, Priya, fine. Priya, okay. Ruchi, yeah. Thanks for acknowledging there. Yeah, my hand. Sapni, Nandini, thank you. Okay, good. So guys, I've understood. I mean, everyone. Obviously, you are acknowledging on behalf of the class. Okay. So this ninety rupees is what this is my fee per day. Okay. This is fee per. Correct. Start. So let us see how much is my closing stock of finished goods. Two thousand units. So two thousand units. Multiplied with ninety rupees. Do the calculation. Two thousand multiplied with P four. That is ninety rupees. Two thousand into ninety. One lakh eighty. Okay. So right here one lakh eighty. Okay. Calculate. One lakh. Um, wait. Yeah. Eighteen lakhs plus eighty-five two fifty minus one lakh eighty. So seventeen lakh five thousand two fifty. Seventeen lakh five thousand two fifty. Clear. Yeah. This is my COGS cost of goods sold. Then the third part of cost sheet selling and distribution overheads. We have depreciation on delivery van one lakh fourteen thousand. Advertisements one lakh eighty five two fifty. And trade for expense eighty five five hundred. Take the inner column total in the outer column. Okay, so one lakh fourteen thousand plus one lakh eighty five two fifty plus eighty five five hundred. So three lakh eighty four seven fifty. So three lakh eighty four. Seven fifty. Okay, then we know outer column total with the previous column. Sorry, previous total. So plus seventeen zero five two fifty. The answer is twenty lakhs ninety thousand. Okay, twenty lakhs ninety thousand nine zero. Okay. Then profit and sales. Let us see if it is given or some ratio must be given in the question. Oh, great! So they have given you sales value twenty two lakh eighty thousand. So let us write that. Twenty two lakh eighty thousand. So this is given, right? How will we get profit? 
selling price minus cost price. Sales minus cost price. So the answer is one lakh ninety. One lakh ninety thousand. Yes. One lakh ninety thousand. Now what? Our next shortcut is what? From COG is up to sales, right? What to do? One divided by units sold, right? Shortcut, है ना? Amount divided by units sold. So, what shortcut am I going to use? One divided by units sold. How much is my units sold? Nineteen thousand. Equal to press multiplication sign two times. Okay, so one divided by nineteen thousand equal to into into. Okay. So what is the first answer that I want is COGS. So type seventeen lakh five two fifty. Press equal to seventeen lakh five two fifty. So it's. Eighty nine point seven four nine. So make it eighty nine point seven five. Eighty nine point seven five. Next, type three lakh eighty four seven fifty and press equal to three lakh eighty four seven fifty. Twenty point two five. So twenty point two five. Next, what I want? Um, cost of sales so twenty lakh ninety thousand. Press equal to twenty lakh ninety thousand and press equal to so one zero nine point nine 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 nine. So round it off to hundred and ten. Okay. Next, what do I want? One lakh ninety. So type one lakh ninety. Press equal. So the answer is nine point nine 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 nine. Make it ten. Next, what I want? Twenty two lakh eighty thousand. Press equal. So the answer is hundred and nineteen point nine 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 nine. Make it one twenty. Is it clear? Okay. Oh wow! So many students had calculated also the answers. Great. Very good. Very good. See how much time is saved. Yeah. Overall, you are able to save at least five minutes, and five minutes counts in exam. Okay. Now the same sum, but with which method? Weighted average. Okay. So up to cost of production, step will be same. There will be no change in the uh, what you call the, the final answer also. Up to COP. So I'm not redoing obviously the whole sum again. So I'll be doing it here. Okay. Just a moment. I'll take this a little down. Note number three. Alternatively, note 
if closing stock of finished goods valued by weighted average cost b So we we'll start from cost of production. Students, you can start giving your attendance in the chat box. We have ten minutes. So cost of production is eighteen lakhs, and value is I mean it's ninety. So cost of production eighteen lakhs it's ninety rupees. Okay. Then next add opening stock of finished goods and less closing stock of finished goods. So opening stock of finished goods is how much? Eighty-five two fifty. Stock of finished goods. Eighty-five two fifty. And closing stock of finished goods. So now so we are doing which method? Weighted average, cost method. Okay. So two thousand units multiplied with. Can anybody tell me which rate I will multiply with? My weighted average method. Which rate I will multiply by? Yes, Swapni. Okay. Very good. The net factory cost rate that is fifty three rupees. Okay. Yeah. This one. This rate. Okay. Net factory cost fifty three. Very good. Okay. So do it here. Fifty-three. Fifty-three. Okay, so two thousand into fifty-three. One lakh six. One lakh six thousand. Okay. Let me check. Yeah, one lakh six. So next, eighteen lakhs plus eighty-five to fifty, eighty-five to fifty minus one lakh six. The answer is seventeen lakh seventy-nine. Seventeen lakh seventy-nine to fifty. What is this called? This is called as cost of goods sold, COGS. Okay, and then I will add selling and distribution expenses. Selling and distribution expenses or overheads. I will take the total directly. I am not showing the breakup. It is already done with people method. Three lakh eighty four seven. Three lakh eighty four seven fifty. Okay, this will give me what? This will give me cost of sales. Add one lakh seven. Oh, sorry, seventeen seventy nine two fifty plus three lakh eighty four seven fifty. The answer is twenty one lakh sixty four thousand. Twenty one lakh sixty four thousand. To this, I will add my profit. I will get my sales.
tell you how much it's given. Twenty two lakh. Selling price minus cost price is answer. Answer is one lakh sixteen thousand. No profit. Good. So we have also calculated profit one lakh sixteen. Fine. Very good. Fine. Now calculate the CPU cost. Same logic. Use the shortcut method. Calculate and write the answer in the chat box. Let me see how many of you have done it right. Let me see. Oh, wow, that's nice. Angel profit six point one one. Uh, okay, sixty one point one one. Okay, fine. Okay. Let me also check and divide by nineteen thousand. Two into nineteen nine fifty. You can check your answer. Ninety three point six four. Ninety three point six four. Next, three lakh eighty four. Three lakh eighty four seven fifty. Twenty point two four nine nine. Make it two five. Twenty point two five. Next cost of sales, twenty one lakh six thousand. I'm getting fourteen point. I think this I'm getting twenty thousand divided by nineteen thousand. I'm getting thirteen point eight nine. How is that possible? One lakh sixty-four thousand divided by nineteen thousand, hundred and thirteen point eight nine. Fine. So write it here. Hundred and thirteen point eight nine. Hundred and thirteen point eight nine. And then one lakh sixteen thousand divided by nineteen thousand. So six. One lakh sixteen thousand divided by nineteen thousand. Six point one zero five. So make it six point one one, right? Six point one one. And last twenty two lakh eighty thousand divided by nineteen thousand. One twenty. Fine. So that's my final answer. Okay. Is it clear to you? Acknowledge it in the chat box.
okay fine great good the next lecture next question Same question with some new concept. So I guess now the CPU column shortcut must be 